Hey Techno Studs, let's troubleshoot another issue on our network. So here I have the demo laptop and it's up. I've already introduced some sort of issue into this network. And so let's see what's going on. I'm gonna open up a command prompt up into here and I'm gonna ping a few things to see what kind of connectivity I have. So I'm gonna just start out by pinging my default gateway once again, which is 10.1.10.1. And I can ping that so we're good to go there. I can, let's see if I can ping another network. I'm fine there. How about 30.1, can't ping there. So something's wrong with that network. I can get to, I can get to 20 just fine. So I'm routing and I'm sending it to other networks. I just can't ping 20.1. So let's take a look and see what's going on with that. Here again, uh, my first thing, my first inclination is jump on to that layer three switch and see what's going on to there. So I'm gonna jump onto the layer three switch and I'm gonna try to ping that, uh, how about 10.1.30.23, which is the pi on that network. So that's interesting. Uh, I can ping from this switch to the pi. I have routing that I'll set up on the pi. I can ping uh, to all other devices on this network, but for some reason, I can't ping from this demo laptop to that demo Pi. So I want you to think about that a second, to think about some of the issues that might come up and go ahead and pause the video even and just think about what this might be with this before I give out the answer here. So uh, if once you've done that, um, let's go ahead and take start like taking a look at things. First thing that I'm gonna do is it doesn't seem to be routing correctly, so I can show, do a show IP route and hit enter, and my network is installed here, 10.31.30.0, so the network is there. That's not the issue right there. Uh, so that's interesting. I can do a show IP interface brief and take a look at that. And here's where I start seeing some things awry because I look at VLAN 30 and I see the address here is 10.1.30.2. Okay, so that is what our issue is. And if I were to do a do show run interface VLAN, and we're looking for VLAN 30, I, oh, I don't need the do in front of that because I'm at that. Okay, so there we go, 10.1.30.2. So that is the problem. So let's talk about what's happening here. So this demo laptop knows how to get to its default gateway. It knows that when it tries to ping 10.1.30.1 or 30.23, it knows to send that to its default gateway. And so it sends it to the switch one. The switch one then, sends it out to the demo Pi 3. So it the ping is successfully getting to the demo Pi 3. Now the demo Pi 3 then wants to respond back. And so it forms a reply back and sends it to its default gateway, which is set to 10.1.30.1. And that is where the problem is. It's trying to send to the default gateway of dot one, which the default gateway on this switch is actually set to dot two, or the IP address on that switch is set to dot two. So that's the problem is, is this ping can actually make it to demo pi three, but it's not able to make it back. And so let's get onto this switch and change that. So in fact, what I can do, uh, you've seen me do this a few different times, is just do a continuous ping with this so we can see when it comes back up. And I'm going to get into the global configuration mode. I'm going to use this. Uh, I can just highlight it. I won't get that carriage return in there. Otherwise, I can't go back and make this change, <clears throat> this change that I want to make to it. So 10.1.30.1 hit enter. Oh, I need to get into the interface. Interface VLAN 30. And now let's do that. 
And now we've got that entered in and pretty much almost uh, almost right away, it starts pinging it. So there's no nothing like port fast that has to, or a spanning tree protocol that has to bring that port up or anything. So I'm successfully now pinging this device. And what's happening is those reply packets can actually get back to me. So we have fixed the issue.